Hello Sagittarius, thank you for watching your relationship read. For the main read, I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot by Paul Foster Case and Arthur Edward Waite. Supportive cards are the Angel Answer Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Already shuffled. Excuse me. Okay. I think I'm going to actually do some oracle cards for you. Hmm. So, where your position, the partner of your, where your position, nope, don't let it come out. I was going to start with where your partner is standing, but maybe we're not doing that yet. Partner is very much in love with you. Okay, so that's a good place to start. Let's go there. I don't know why I'm, I'm kind of conflicted about starting with this, but it feels like I should be anyway. Your partner is the King of Cups here with the Romance card. So your partner ha is feeling really good about you, very much in love with you. Now, I feel like this is important to say because it seems to be setting forth the rest of what's going on here. Now, you seem to be sticking with the, the, how you felt is still how you feel. You haven't, your feelings haven't changed. And the Ace of Swords here seems to be like you have ideas about where you want to go. You're communicating what you want to do. Although, and you do, you do seem to have these. I'm wondering if they're not being heated here. Because where you, how you're feeling what you want to do, what you're communicating, it all seems the same. It seems like it's been the same for a while. Your partner, on the other hand, I'm not sure they're on the same page. I'm getting what's holding this situation back is your partner has the Knight of Rods, you have the Magician card. I feel like you're trying to influence the situation in a certain way, and you're doing the best you can to do that. But your partner seems to be pushing forward in a different direction. And I feel like your partner is kind of pushing back verbally and trying to convince you to do something different. Your partner seems to be pushing forward, trying to... All right. Your partner has ideas about where they want to go. It's different from where you want to go. This is causing burdens on your side. But your... The, um... The knight... Nope. The king of swords here is on your partner's side. I feel like they're very animate about getting you to go their direction. This is stressful for you because you, you haven't changed what you wanted. You still want the same thing. And you're doing your best to see, to try to make that happen. You're pushing that forward. You have a magician on your side, but unfortunately it's in that spot of what's holding things back. And it makes me feel like all the efforts you're putting in, your partner seems to be pushing harder. Excuse me. And not relenting. Your partner, I feel, really does a real, really strong, like really does convince you to go their way chariot, they're influencing your chariot. You're not going the way you want to go, you're going the way they want to go. And I feel like they're unrelenting with their, their opinions. They have the strength card, they have the king of swords. The king of swords in the reading here, it's kind of looking like, I don't know if I can show you, like this, like this is them, and this is your, your chariot. Like they're very directly influencing your chariot. They're getting you to go a certain direction. The reason they're doing this, they don't feel, they don't, I don't feel like they're backing your position. They don't feel like that's how this should work out. When I get the Eight of Swords for them, they feel like this is the way it has to be. They're not seeing what you want to see. They're not seeing 
a possibility the way you're trying to push it. They're just, I feel like they're just like, they're blocking and they're forcing this a different way. But the whole reason, like, and this is in their spiritual sense, they're seeing this as the only way this can be done. I know that the Eight of Swords is usually somebody bound and can't get out of a situation, and I feel like that's kind of how they're feeling. Like, it has to do, this This has to be done, and it has to be done this way, and it's not going the way you want it to. But they definitely have very strong feelings for you. It's not like they don't want you to be happy. Whatever's going on here, though, they feel like it has to go this other direction. Now, this last piece here is very interesting of what helps. Because I feel like you do, like the chariot, I was saying, they're influencing your chariot, you're going their direction. And I get that, this is what helps. You going their direction. Uh, the three of rods with the page of cups on your side. I feel like it's, I don't, I feel like you're, you're on board, because you're going, you're doing it, you're on board. You don't want to do this this way, but you're doing it. And you're going the direction they want to go. And I feel like it's, an, it's a roundabout way of doing things. Instead of a direct approach, I feel like this is kind of roundabout. And there's something being left behind because of it. They have the um, Eight of Cups with the opportunity going on here. So, and this is how it's kind of jumping in here. You're go they're going towards the opportunity. Something good is being left behind here. You're following your partner. Something good is being left behind. You you don't really want to, but you, you are on board with them because they're very insistent that this is how this has to go. And it does work out. The opportunity does happen. This does work out. I'm just thinking it's not the original goal or the actual goal that you want. And you've had the same goal for a long time. And you're still not getting what you want. Things are working out. Opportunities are coming. This is good for both of you. But I feel like the big thing here is it's not... If this reading is hitting for you, something you want, you've been very vocal about, you've been staying on the same page for a long time, trying to make some, something happen, it's just your partner's trumping it and pushing you in a different direction, taking you in this direction with them, and you're going along, even though it's not really what you want, you are going along with them, and it's paying off. It's working out. It is working out for you. <coughs> Your partner does love you. I get that uh, King of Cups romance card here in the beginning. So they definitely care. There's no question about that. I feel like the whole problem is it's just not going the way you'd prefer it to go. And you've been holding on to this for a long time. But I feel as long as you're taken care of in the end, hopefully this is okay. I feel like you're not going to be over the moon about things not working out the way you want because you've been wanting this for a long time. But the fact that things are going to work out at least for you in the long run, hopefully that's some consolation. Okay, so that is the Sagittarius relationship. I feel like that's one of those readings where technically it's good, but I'm not feeling like watching it makes you really feel that good because there's something you want. But it's not ending in devastation. It's just not ending up where you originally wanted it to. Let's do Sagittarius Singles. Sagittarius Singles. All right, let the moon card flip out while we're shuffling it today. I've been having this uh, thing today where cards are just flipping out and going across the room when they want to. Mostly because I'm shuffling them, but I'm not like they're just telekinesis flying around the place. But <laughs> as I pick up cards or I'm shuffling them, they're just all over the place. So I'm just like, come on, let's let's keep the energy together here. Sagittarius singles. Okay, we're good. I was, I was like, did I stay on that road when we were shuffling? So the first thing, I'm getting where you're standing is loss. You're feeling like you missed out on a great relationship. And you're moving on from it. You're moving on from it. That's your overall energy. Now the last, well not last two, the next two I'm seeing here is the environment. Lovers are in the environment. And the nine of swords, 
is in your mindset. Like somebody else, like whoever you were interested in, I feel like they they went with someone else. They're in a relationship with someone else now, and you're just like, that's it. That's that's the shutting of the door. That's meaning I lost because somebody else won. I'm not a second best player. If you chose someone else, you don't want me. I'm moving on. That's what I'm getting right off the bat here. Which you, you would think would sum up this whole thing, but I see in the end it, something's good for you. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen, but let's keep going. Now, you very much cared for this person. And you've been thinking about how this could go forward. You, I feel like with the Ace of, now, the Ace of Cups with the Page of Rods, you felt very deeply for this person and you were looking to find a way to get this started. This is somebody you may have been friends for with a while. For, friends with for a while. Wow, I just said that backwards. Now, even though this didn't turn out the way you want, I'm noticing you're, you're moving on fairly quickly. You got the Knight of Rods. I feel like you're... Feral! Feral! I feel like you're moving on fairly quickly. You're succeeding. Feral! Okay. You're moving on fairly quickly. Um, seven of Rods here. You're succeeding through it, but you're moving on fairly quickly. You're just like, you know what? This isn't working. I'm not going to sit here and sulk about it. I'm, I'm out. I'm gone. Because um, when it first happens, when you first realize, realize this isn't going to go your way and somebody else was chosen, I feel like you, you're just kind of having a, a moment here where you're just kind of like trying to be happy for that person. Uh, but once you realize, you know, done is done, you're out. You're just, you're out. You're leaving the situation. And you're sticking with that thought. Going into the future, so this person made a choice of someone else. I feel like you're out, like you move, like the Knight of Pentacles here, you're out. Knight of, no, Knight of Rods, you're out. Knight of Pentacles means you're out and you're staying out. You make this decision, done. I don't want anything else to do with this situation, we're done. No temptation, nothing like that. You chose someone else, you want someone else, we're done. So you're moving on. The last thing here, what's it? I feel like um, you're going out after someone else. You're, you're finding a different interest. Um, you got a new interest, a new interest at the end of this. The, the next person seems a lot stronger. I'm getting this next person is a lot more active. And I don't feel like the emotional connection is there yet, but you're thinking, you know what, it might happen. Over time, it might happen. So you're giving someone else a shot. A shot. Um, this could be a rebound feeling. Could be. In the sense of, like, you're just getting involved with this person to get your mind off the last person. But I feel like you're giving this person a fair shot because you're thinking, you know what, the feelings aren't that deep, but they're very active, and I do find them attractive, so let me see where this is going. Let me give this a shot. So you're out there. You just seem to roll with the punches and keep going. And I feel like you're moving on that way. By giving somebody else a shot. And I feel like this other person may have showed interest before, but you didn't move forward with them because you weren't really sure about it and you had feelings for someone else. Now that you know those other feelings aren't going to pan out, you're like, you know what? What do I have to lose? Let me give this a shot. It could turn out to be like a rebound thing or it could become something more. You have to decide for yourself in the next few months how it goes. Okay, so that is Sagittarius Singles. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com, james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.